Hi guys, so for today's It's Makeup tutorial, I'm going to be laying down my brows with some glue stick. This is an extra strong version, so you literally don't even need that much. I usually get away with just one layer and it lays my brows flat, like literally flat. So I just like to comb through them and didn't, I did a second layer as well here. I'm also grabbing my Makeup Forever translucent white, it's kind of like a white shade powder and I'm just setting my the glue with this. Then I'm using a bold cap that I got off eBay, it was really really cheap, by the way I'll link everything in that I used in the info box. And I'm just popping this on. I was actually very surprised by this, this bold cap because it was so cheap, like it was £3 or something like that. And it stayed on pretty well. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of figuring out where I'm going to be making little slits for my ears to pop through. But now we're going to use some like cotton that you can break apart and I grab flat pieces and I'm just shoving this up my bolt cap to make my head look like that big it forehead. He has a 10 hand forehead, I don't know, it's just so big like so I was just trying to imitate that. And I feel like this really really added to the look. You might need some help like while <laughs> I look like I'm proper struggling there. But you might need some help. I asked my brother, my little brother to hold the bold cap for me whilst I shoved even more wool up there. Because I did a layer and then I did a second layer in some areas so you do need someone to help you out. But you can see it slowly starts to get your head looking bigger. So this is where I started to put like a second layer of cotton wool. I did concentrate the wool more on the sides of my head rather than in the centre to get that really big forehead on the sides. And then when I was done with that I grabbed some spirit gum and basically glued the bowl cap to my skin on the perimeter of my face and make sure you don't have any hair in the way, tuck your hair in away and use some Vaseline. But to be honest, when I use Vaseline, it doesn't seem to stick when I use spirit gum. So try not to get spirit gum on your hair, basically. And here I'm just cutting the slits so that my ears can pop through. Please be careful when you do this because it's very risky. You could do it before, but I like to do it when it's on my head so I can kind of see where I can cut, cut it so my ears pop through. Because once I did it before and my ears were totally in the wrong place, like it was just wrong. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just gluing the bowl cap onto my skin and you can also like hold down for a few seconds so it really sticks onto the skin and literally you can move your head around freely and it will not come off. To make the bowl cap line blend with my skin, I'm using some liquid latex by Krylon and I'm just doing, I think I did three or four layers of this. So I did a layer, let it dry, did another layer, let it dry and then I went on and on till I found that it blended really well. Make sure that you're wearing old clothes when you're using latex because that stuff does not come off your clothes and also use like a wedge um, sponge those are really helpful. By the way please ignore this chin that I've put on I thought it would have gone with the look to make the face look longer but it just looked absolutely weird. So yeah, please do ignore that and right now I'm just using some clown white face paint from Meron and just painting my whole face with this and then I set it with the Makeup Forever powder. And I'm also going down a bit on my neck, like the chin just looked ridiculous so I just pulled that stuff right off. I, I kind of regret doing it but hey ho, I'm still learning aren't I? <laughs> I also did use a beauty blender to blend the white paint. I'm now going in with some Krylon face paint, this is the red one and I'm starting to create the smile and the lines linked to the smile, from the smiles to the eyes. And I'm just filling it in, I'm using a very precise brush so I don't mess up. I'm really bad at doing precise lines so don't worry if it's not perfect, I mean as long as you get kind of clean on the edges it's totally fine. So yeah, I'm just filling away. Oh, here, so I took some Snazaroo black face paint, wet my brush, used some of the paint, and basically lined my upper and lower lash line with this paint. 
and then I went back in actually I grabbed some grey face paint from Krylin and again these are water activated paints so you just have to wet your brush and dip it in the paint and I started to create these brows because he looked like he had indent brows so I thought let me just use grey paint now I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe and I used the black colour just to fade out the black on the eyes and I really packed this on on my lower lash line as well especially on the inner corner of my lower lash line my Jaclyn Hill palette is quite beat up at the, at the moment because literally just I'm just a messy person it's a white palette but anyways I used a clean brush to blend the edges so the black faded out and then I'm going in with some red face paint again from Kryolan to create the lines and continue them um, towards the brow and above the brow it kind of like spikes off by the way I did use some like images on Google images of the actual it from the film for reference because yeah, I just kept looking back and forth from it to get a better idea of where I'm supposed to be painting so yeah I definitely recommend like reference pictures because that really really helps I'm just basically imitating what I see in the picture um, the actor in it does this weird thing with his lips like he can manage to he manages to like point out his lower lips so obviously I can't do that so I kind of pointed out my lower lip with a red paint and I really overlined them as you can see and I also went in with some black face paint and powder on the perimeter of the lips to kind of give that dimension and it kind of looked like that in the picture as well so yeah now I went in with some grey face paint and kind of made some frown lines on my forehead you know when you're like just frowning you have these lines on your forehead that's what I'm kind of imitating if you want to look even angrier you can go in with some black face paint or powder to contour your cheeks and basically accentuate any lines on your face to look even angrier which I kind of wish I did but I don't know why I didn't but anyways I bought this really cheap short wig off Amazon and I kind of played around with it and put it on my head cut it up just stuck it on with spirit gum use some hairspray used a bunch of bobby pins to pin it back to look at make it look fluffier and yeah that's what i got basically i also tried to imitate that weird hairline that he has like he only has hair in the center of his head and then it goes back on the sides i also painted my red nose with some red face paint that we used earlier on i popped on this clown neck thing that i got off ebay it was super cheap and i popped on a white t-shirt and literally that's how i created this look thanks for watching guys